Going into 2019, we will see a slowdown in economic growth rates across the region, but we will see some structural changes in the way that investors look at Asia. The biggest single one of those changes reflects how investors view China. Traditionally, they've looked at China in the context of Asia x Japan. In the future, China will be the biggest single component of Asia Pacific, and we expect China to supersede Japan as the biggest market in the region by 2023. A couple of other things will happen next year in terms of how the indices view China, specifically MSCI A shares, which are underrepresented in the Asia Emerging Market Index, will get more and more weighting on two occasions next year, in May and also in August. And we reckon that within 18 months, the weighting attributed to MSCI A shares will go up fivefold. So investor attention will concentrate on China. At the same time, we're also expecting investors to be quite defensive given the slowdown in the economic growth rate. So for that reason, we see investors looking at dividends as being a priority for them, looking for companies with strong balance sheets and looking for companies which are engaging in corporate governance reform. Now, in all three big markets in Asia, we see some attractions there, specifically in Korea, where the largest pension fund has now embraced the stewardship code, but also in other markets like China. It surprises a lot of global investors to know that China Mobile is the single largest dividend payer globally. And for that reason, we think that income seeking investors will tend to favor putting money to work in Asia markets.